All right, it looks like he's running a cover too, man. And what I've been noticing, and these are little things you got to think about. Every time I motion this guy out, he's ready for the money play. So he's ready for the uh, the post by Brown. But watch what's going to happen. Now he's going to leave me one-on-one -on -one, um, with the wheel route. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get the matchup we want. And this might be a one-play touchdown right here. Oh, but we don't. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say we don't got the speed. But you see, those are things that you just got to keep in your mind when you're watching the game and what he's doing in this video we got a nice little money play for y'all that we're going to scheme around out of gun doubles off close week uh well, the play we're going to be talking about that's going to be the money play is going to be the double post these are going to be my go-to audibles y'all know i like to mix in my screens you got to put the best available run play which is going to be this rpo zone read bubble which is op going to show you how to run that then we got the money play and then we also always have to have a corner streak flat setup that's going to be pay cross for us so let's jump into the practice field show you how we set these plays up and get money with them all right first we're going to go ahead and talk about the money play and the hash is important if you're on the left hash you want your two receivers to the left side if you're on the right hash you want them to the right side what you're going to go ahead and do is motion out the solo receiver, put them on a comeback route, put your tight end on a streak. And I like to put X on a little in route like this. And I do like the delay route by the running back. A lot of times I'll catch my opponent off guard. But we are going to be looking for Wilson right here. Uh, this will bomb all zone coverages. And with the right uh, wide receiver, you can bomb man coverage as well to create separation. But you can see how we can get a one play touchdown. That's going to be the same against cover four, cover two, and cover three. And also man coverage if you do have a wide receiver with a speed mismatch or good route running. All right, now I want to talk about my third down setup with this same play. We're going to make it look the same as the money play by motioning out B, but we're going to do some things different here. Now, there's a couple of different options you can do with Y and the running back. If you put Y on a zig, you can put the running back on an in route. If you want to put Y on a drag, you can put the running back on an out route. But the point is to make them cross or have one go out, one go in. The ultimate goal is to get B open in this nice little pocket. Now, for the most part, the user is going to be one of these two guys, and um, you're going to have to pick and choose who to throw to depending on who they go and help on. But I just want to show you what this looks like. B is going to get open in a nice little pocket against all zones right about there. And again, the user can change that up depending on if he's actually going to help on that or if he's picking up the tight end. That's just something you're going to have to pick and choose as the game is going on. All right, now we're going to be talking about our bread and butter, the corner streak flat play, which is going to be P-A-Y cross. All you really got to do is motion over the tight end, but I do like to put Y on a zig route. And if you want to get out of that little play action, just put the running back on the end route. I like B where he's at. It's a nice check down right in the middle of the field, especially if the user goes and tries to help on the corner. And then the other little hook curl helps on the running back. It opens up B right there in the middle between everything. But the go-to is going to be A right here. It's just going to be a high-low read. If the zones um, are playing really deep, look for the zig route. If they're playing shallow like they just were, you're going to look for the corner route. But that's how you're going to run the corner streak flat play out of this formation. All right, now we're going to be jumping into the RPO that's going to be giving your opponent a headache. Now, this works better when you have a running quarterback, but you don't need it. You can still run the RPO as the RPO, handing it off to the running back, throwing it to the wide receiver. But this is one of those RPOs where the quarterback can keep it. Now, if you know anything about option plays or RPOs like this where the quarterback can keep it, you see the big R over the defensive end. He usually gets a free shot at the quarterback no matter what defense they're in, but I'm going to show you how to counter that and how he gets blocked every single time. So what we're going to do is motion over the B receiver. Once he gets around the left tackle and left guard, like basically right between them, start spamming A to hike the ball. And what he's going to do is pick up that guy every single time. Now, he's not always going to get the greatest block because it is a wide receiver on a defensive end. But you can see what happened right there. Like, let's say the bubble was picked up. The run play was blown up. You're going to be able to get like three to four yards if you have somebody like Lamar, um, possible 20-yard gain or maybe something even bigger. But... Even without that, obviously, Aaron Rodgers isn't a running quarterback. We can still get good results by running this as the actual RPO run. Like, I can cut it back. That was just a good little shed by, I mean, the Bengals have one of the best D-lines when it comes to stopping the run, and that's why they shed a lot. But, um, and then also, don't forget, you also still have the bubble, so you can run it like this, and you can throw the bubble out if they're playing backed off. It is a, th this RPO alone is you know, worthy of its own video, but I wanted to mix it in with the money play. Um, but that's basically going to be it for the plays. We're going to jump into some head-to-head. -head. This is going to be a Jets gameplay. So at the end, we will show you the depth chart, but let's jump into some head-to-head -head gameplay. 
All right, so this is going to be game one. We did make a change of plans because of that RPO. I wanted to use a team with a running quarterback. We were going to use um, the Jets and show you all the depth chart with all that. But we're going to end up using the Cardinals because they do got some uh, fast wide receivers and they also got uh, a running quarterback and they don't get used a lot. So I just kind of wanted to show them some love. We will show you the depth chart at the end. I don't think a lot of people use the Cardinals, but um we are going to show y'all how we set everything up and the fact that it's game one and we go against the panthers this this is probably the worst two teams now I, i'll probably say on paper because the panthers actually got a squad on them they are actually really nice um they got two guys you could put on the d line that uh can get to the quarterback they got a lot of speed at the db position um on offense different story they do struggle so that's where they are one of the worst teams but the fact that we use the Cardinals and we end up going against somebody like uh, the Panthers. I mean, I'll take the matchup. It's a perfect matchup. Why did I click off? Why did I click off? Everything is pretty bagged. You can't be really throwing on the run with uh, Young. This man has some of the worst throws I've ever seen. One against an empty. We're going to drop this back to 15. Um, let's see what we can do right here. I think we're going to use her blunt. Let Buda Baker do his thing. Yeah, look, come on. That's a fumble. That's a fumble. Drop this back down. See what he picks. Yeah, we're going to drop that back down. Come out in the safety blitz. Get our cover for a hybrid out there. Let's just be strong to one side. See how he reacts to it. He actually ran to that side. User tackle. Could have had him right there. Man just broke like five tackles. That's crazy. That man just broke like five tackles. Got to put that quarterback spy out there. Oh, that's me. That's me. I got to hit that gap. All right, we're going to go for the third down money play. This is perfect uh, yardage right here away from the end zone to get this with the tight end for a touchdown. Let's see if it works out for us like we have things planned out. He's trying to use a rush. Can, can Kyler get that? Yes, sir. That's what we want. That's what we want. Nice little dot. I feel like I can't lead the ball that much with them, but... Nonetheless, that's the perfect setup. That's about the perfect amount of yardage to get that touchdown using that play. It all works out. All right, drive number two on defense. He did kind of drive downfield on us and um, got the touchdown. But a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. We got that backed up. Oh, come on. He's being smart, though. He's taking that run every time. Every chance he gets, he takes that run. So what we're going to do is put Baker on a quarterback spy. That's bag. Don't throw that. That's bag. Don't throw that. Tell you, man. I'm telling you, this cover four hybrid is something else. And you see what I did there, though, by putting that quarterback spy from keeping him from running with the quarterback. That was the only thing really opening up for him. His first drive, we shut it down that time. We took away his tight end route, and he tries to try to take a check down. Where we have our five yard curls right there. All works out for us at the end. Cover four hybrid added to your playbook. All right, drive number three. Let's see if we can uh, keep it up with that pick. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Bait. Oh, yeah, we were there. We were there. Let's see what he does right here. I'm going to purposely shift everybody to the right. That's me. Come on, get there. Oh. And that's what happens when you bait too much. Um, I tried. I wanted him to try to throw a streak in that direction. But I underplayed my speed. Um, I know I'm used to usually having somebody like maybe 94 speed at the minimum we are going to use Bruder baker this time oh yeah yeah he, he keeps trying to run with uh bryce young it's not really working for him though let's see what we, we're gonna shade outside because we're gonna pick up anything in the middle with our user yep it always works out for us when we send the heat like that they're just not expecting it we're gonna send the heat see if he can uh handle it see what i want you to notice right there is the first time the inside guy got in the second time he id'd him but now the outside guy got in all right we got game number two that guy ended up quitting after that fourth and 16 that's all right it happens it is what it is on to the next let's set up a defense let's see if we're gonna get time we got plenty of time that cover four we didn't even click it uh, now we might not have time all right Got our cover four set up. Go to favorites. Easiest way to find your plays. I like this. 
what did I just do? I'm gonna use her this guy. Yep, I'm liking this. Liking this. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Watch the running back. Perfect. He's right there. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with the running quarterback. Might have to put a quarterback spy out there, but we just completely bagged up everything right there. Might scratch the guest pass. Oh, bad user tackle. 100% my fault. Now, if you don't have a good user tackle or uh, shooting gaps, this will happen to you if you're using dime or dollar. Um, he's being smart. He is going to my weak side. But 100% that was my fault. That was something that could have been stopped. Like right, You see, I just overshot it. You can see right there how I just went a little too far. But it is what it is. It happens. We will improve. We'll make adjustments. All right, he's been sending some type of little blitz out of a nickel formation. I'm pretty sure this is nickel. Uh, we're going to go for the money play right here. Let's see what happens. I don't know if that guy is coming off the edge. Um, let's see, though. Uh, we're going to be looking for more right here. <clears throat> he is sending that guy off the edge on the right side, or he has been at least. Okay, we might have it. This looks like a cover two underneath. I'll take it. It does beat cover two underneath. I probably should have jerked to the inside. That's all right. This gives us an opportunity to keep running that uh, RPO and keeping it with the quarterback. All right, this is how confident I am in this play to get me five yards when you keep it with the quarterback. But we can still hit the bubble screen. Oh, it looks like a man coverage. But look, look how he follows him. It's almost a guaranteed five yards every time. I'm going to say it is a guaranteed five yards. Like, if you're not trying to kick it out to the sideline, if you're just trying to go straight with it, it's, like, guaranteed. Like, we're going to run it again. We're one yard away. Let's see if this is true. Let's see if we're able to actually get the yard we need for the touchdown. I'm telling y'all, this might be the perfect red zone play when you're like five yards and you need to score. This might be the play right here. I mean, you're going to open up that gap for me in the middle. I'm taking it with the running back. This might be the perfect like red zone play right here for five yards. I'm, I might add this to the arsenal for uh, red zone plays. You know what? We're going to get a little toxic. We're going to see how good of a red zone play it is. Now, I do always forget that I have the bubble screen, but just to show you how, like, unless he's sending, like, an all-out blitz, like, just to show you how powerful this is right here, like, because he either has to read it or go for the, the quarterback. Look at that. Look, this play is definitely a red zone play. It's guaranteed five yards. Y'all that y'all got to add this. Y'all got to add this play right here. If you don't add the whole scheme, at least add this play. Like this. Like this. Look. Get a quarterback spy out there just in case. Quarterback spy out there just in case. This guy likes to run with the quarter. Oh, look at that play. We find a little, little nano blitz. All right, so last time we beat him with the money play, he was in a cover two. Possible cover two again right here. Um, let's see if we get it off again. Uh, we got to watch that, that blitz. Get back him up all you want. He's guarded in himself, but look how open X is in the middle right here. A little outside juke. Can we get out of bounds? If not, we still got three timeouts. I'll take it. All right, looks like we got him running a cover four, possibly. We might hit Brown right here on the bubble. Might hit Brown on the bubble. Right, we're going to keep it with the quarterback. Get two blocks. Get two good blocks. This is where it gets a little glitchy. Oh, you didn't get out of bounds. Oh, come on. I was trying to get out of bounds. That's my fault, 100%. I'm not sure if he's running man coverage right here because he's been basing his defense, but we're going to go for the money play right here. 100%. We do got to get out of bounds. We, I got to make sure. I don't know if he's bringing the heat over here with this uh, DB. You know what? Just in case it is man coverage, we might have this wheel route right here. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's go. We're going to get out of bounds. We got 26 seconds. Remember, I told you it's like a guaranteed five yards. Let's see if it really works. We hit him with the money play. Um, we got him programmed to be ready for this uh, RPO to keep it with the quarterback. Let's see what happens right here. Depends on what defense he comes out in. Because if he sends that heat, we could still throw it to the bubble screen. But um, I think we're keeping it with the quarterback right here. If he opens up that middle, we will take it with the running back. But we do got to account. We only got 26 seconds left. Um, you know what? So we've hit him with the we've hit him with the the RPO. I'm gonna do a double out on him. I'm gonna do a double out on him. I like this. I like this look a lot. And then we got the tight end going over the top. This might be low key perfect. Uh, we're gonna look for more on the inside zig, but depending on the play, that was my alarm, but. Depending on the play, we might hit that outside zig. I think we got more right here. I like it. 
The double out is crucial in the red zone. I love it. I want to say we just added to the little scheme right there. We added the little double out when we're in the red zone. Uh, this time it looks like we're throwing it to Brown. We're going to watch with the guy with the P over his, uh, the P icon over him. We're going to watch what he does. If he doesn't go to Brown, we're taking it to Brown. Yeah, we're taking it to Brown. Well, this is this is a nasty red zone play, 100%. All right, we kind of got ourselves in a little situation right here. Um, I'm reading man coverage. He might be sending a blitz. Y'all already know what I'm going to tell y'all when it comes to man coverage. Run your curl routes. This is man coverage. We should have it right here. Easy money. Easy money every time. Fourth and six. Taking a curl route against man coverage. I don't even know who what receiver that is, honestly. Never heard of him. Um, pretty sure he's like a C tier wide receiver. And we're still going to be able to get it done against Xavier Howard. Like, I'm telling y'all, curl routes are deadly. All right, it looks like he's running a cover two, man. And what I've been noticing, and these are little things you got to think about. Every time I motion this guy out, he's ready for the money play. So he's ready for the uh, the post by Brown. But watch what's going to happen. Now he's going to leave me one-on-one -on -one, um, with the wheel route. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get the matchup we want. And this might be a one-play touchdown right here. Oh, but we don't. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say we don't got the speed. But you see, those are things that you just got to keep in your mind. When you're watching the game and what he's doing, I seen him go guard the post route because we beat him with it. Um, so that's when you get somebody programmed to be ready for that post route, it'll leave other things open. It wasn't a cover two, but it was still he was using the safety over there. Cover one, the wheel route by the running back uh, will beat man coverage all day. All right, so this is going to be the depth chart for the Cardinals. I know probably not a lot of y'all that actually use the Cardinals, but... For those that do nothing crazy on offense, just make sure you are using Marquise Brown and more. There's no reason you shouldn't be using them. Um, they do have two fast tight ends, 87 speed, 89 speed. That is actually usable. Um, you can do some things with there. But those two guys, O-line, nothing too crazy. D-line, linebackers, nothing too crazy. This is how I have my DB set up. Like I always say, if you disagree, you can set yours up however you want. Um, these are going to be my two. They're, honestly, all the corners are just fillers, like one through four. Um, Thompson, he's actually a really good safety, so he's going to be playing that curl flat for me. But everybody else is basically a filler one through four. Now, where it gets important is the safeties and the sub linebackers. Clark, he's going to be one of my user, uh, user safeties, 92 speed. He had the best change of direction out of the rest. Um, so that's who I was going to be going with. Um, at strong safety, we got Bobby Price. He's actually pretty decent. Six foot three, 91 speed, 87 change of direction. I'm not looking at overalls at all. 50, 57 overall, 62 overall. I'm not looking at that. So those two guys I'm going to be using. And then also at the sub um, is going to be Buda Baker and then Joey Blunt. These are really good users right here. Six foot one, 92 speed. And he's got some decent change of direction, better than whatever whatever else was available. And then Buda Baker is just a baller. So, like I said, these are going to be my four main guys that I use. Are either one of these two guys. They're all going to be fast, going to be able to change direction, and they're also going to be able to just completely ball hawk, um, all decently fast. And, again, make sure you do go to your slots and start the number three and four in your corner position and all put them at the slot position so we know that they're going to be playing that slot and playing those little curl hooks for us. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the depth chart. That's going to be it for this video.